Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show y'all how to create this very fresh, light, healthy, glowy skin look paired with a beautiful, beautiful red lip. And then I'm also going to show you how to create the perfect blush to go with your red lip. Oftentimes when I'm doing a red lip, I get confused on what kind of blush to use because I don't want my blush to compete with my red lip. The red lip is the star of the show and sometimes if you go for more of a blue toned red lip or a warm red lip, it's just like what blush are you supposed to pair with the shade? So I'm going to show you how to create the perfect, perfect blush shade to go with your red lip. It's foolproof, it will work every single time, and it's so easy. And then of course I'm gonna be sharing with you this entire makeup look. Red lips are just classic, they're always beautiful, they look great on anyone, and it's one of my favorites, and it's one that I just always feel the most confident in. So I'm so excited to be creating this look for y'all. Make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack, and let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna start off the skin with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. I have this in the shade 903 Medium Glow. And I've just been seeing this all over TikTok and it made me wanna pull this out. This is one of my favorite products from the drugstore. It's probably one of the number one products I would recommend from the drugstore. It is so good. And I think I'm just gonna blend it out with my foundation brush. Um, but it just gives such a beautiful glow to the skin. I do red lips. I really like for the skin to be just really fresh looking, not necessarily glowy. You can definitely do this um, with a more matte base, but I just really like the skin to look fresh and minimal and almost like you're not really wearing a whole lot on the face. Now, with that being said, I still like to have coverage. I still like a very flawless look to the skin, but I want it to look natural, if that even makes sense. So the perfect foundation for this look is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation. I've been testing this out for a couple weeks now. I love this foundation so much. It is such a beautiful combination of full coverage as well as natural like a, there's this natural element to it it's a very very interesting foundation and to be totally honest like i've never tried a full coverage foundation that looks like this on the skin it is so beautiful so i usually only need one pump um, i use this in the shade 220 linen and i think i'm gonna actually dot this on the face first so that i can evenly distribute it and i'm gonna start with a little because I don't want a lot of this on the skin. And the good thing about this foundation is that it does have a lot of coverage, so you really don't need to apply a lot. And I will be going in with concealer as well, so I can get coverage from that. I'm blending all of this out with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Brush. It's her double-ended brush. I really like this brush too. And I would say this shade, 220 Linen, is like I can't decide if it's either perfect or if it's too light. Like it's almost just a hair, a hair, a hair light. But at the same time, I feel like it matches my neck. I think it's the undertone. I think I would like it more if it had more of an olive undertone. I think on the website it says this is a neutral undertone. Um, which I guess I would agree with, but I feel like it almost leans a little bit gray so i think that's why it kind of looks a little light on me and i'm going to take this through the eye as well just to cancel out any redness and veining i'm going to go across my face with a damp sponge just to pick up any excess product and make sure that i'm not i don't have just foundation kind of sitting on the skin so for concealer, I decided to go with the Lawless uh, Conceal the Deal Concealer. Honestly, no particular reason. It's just one that I don't use very often. And I really want to make sure that I'm using the makeup that I have. I'm not just using the same makeup over and over again. And this is just one that I really don't reach for. Oh, and I totally forgot I was going to do cream, cream contour. I forget every time, guys. I forget. I don't know what 
my deal is. I even like told myself before filming this, do cream bronzer before anything else, and then look at me, I totally forgot. All right, well, I'm just gonna do this initial layer. And then after I do cream contour, um, I can go back in with concealer if I need to. Ugh, I always forget, every time. Alright, so for cream contour, I'm going to use one of my favorites. This is the Janessa Myricks Balm Contour. I've loved this for years. It is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, cream contour products. The Makeup by Mars Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick has been just my current kind of everyday favorite, but this one is so beautiful. The Makeup by Mario one is a little more matte, so, and this one has a little bit more of a, just a more of an emollience to it. So, but I love both of them. Actually, the shade, I mean, this is like a really nice natural shade on me, but I'm almost thinking I wanna go a little bit darker. Let me get my other shade. So that was light one. I also have the shade, light two is that right yeah shade light two so show you comparison light one and light two i like light one because it has a really nice olive undertone to it um, which is what i gravitate towards but i need something a little bit darker so i'm gonna go into light two this is the shade that i used to use and i actually used up an entire one of these um but i really like light one for a really natural natural just bit of dimension to the skin all right I'm just gonna go over this with my sponge just to help kind of blend that out a little bit more of my lawless concealer just where I feel like I want a little bit more coverage So I do want to set all of this down, so I'm going to give the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Setting Powder another shot. I did not enjoy it the last time I used it. It is not how I remembered. I think I used to use this like years and years ago, and I feel like the last time I used it I did not love it as much. So we're going to give her a try again. I'm going to take it on my little triangle puff. Um, got these off of Amazon, totally inspired by TikTok and Alana Davison and I'm just gonna press this right in the under eye and I just got the shade translucent so whenever I pick up powder on these I always like to kind of prime it and rub it on my hand first just to make sure that there's not a clump of powder on there so that it's evenly applied on the skin and I'm just taking the tiniest bit of powder not applying a lot and then I'm gonna apply just a little bit to my eyelids as well so the red lip that I picked for today I'm kind of going in between two of these but I think the one I'm gonna go with is more of an orangey red and so I want the skin to be nice and warm and bronzed so I figured I would try this out today I've never tried this this is not a new product but it's just new to me it's the bare minerals um bronzer I guess like loose mineral bronzer in the shade warmth never tried this and I'm really excited to try this I've heard Shelby Wilson talk about this for years um, and I know this is like a kind of a cult favorite in the brand I'm just gonna apply that right on top of the Danessa Myricks contour and before I apply it to the face I'm just pushing my brush into my hand to make sure that I don't apply too much. I'm also going to take a little bit of this down the sides of my nose. It's very warm so I'm not really like trying to contour with this too much, but I just want to kind of add definition to my nose. And I want to do a little bit of highlighter so I'm going to take the Victoria Beckham Reflect in Pearl. This is her cream highlight. And I'm actually just going to take it on my finger first. I went for this highlighter because it is more glossy looking on the skin rather than metallic or shimmery. 
and I just love the way that that looks with a red lip. All right, so I'm gonna save blush for last because I'm actually gonna use my lipstick as blush and I'll show y'all how I do that. Sometimes when you're doing a red lip, it can be kind of hard to decide what blush to pair with your red lip. So what I always love to do is actually to use my red lipstick as my blush. So I will show y'all how to do that when we actually get to the lip, but I'm gonna do something just really quick on the eyes. I'm gonna go into my LH Cosmetics Basic Elements palettes, these beautiful, beautiful glitters. I've been raving about this recently, I know, I'm sorry, but I just can't help it. So I'm actually gonna mix the silver and the gold together. So this is the shades AG and AU. So I'm gonna first go in with the silver, apply that to my hand, take a different finger, go into the gold, and then apply that right on top and just mix those two together. And that is the combo. Ooh, that's gonna be so pretty. So I feel like the gold is too gold, silver is too silver. So I'm just gonna mix these together and create this kind of glossy concoction. And then just press that on my eyelids all over from lid to brow bone. And then really quickly, just to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna go back when, back in with a little bit of my bronzer. I'm just gonna take this on a fluffy brush, just a tiny bit, and just really lightly run that through the crease. All right, so for mascara, I'm gonna use the Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara. Just, again, another one that I never use. I'm gonna give my Tower 28 mascara a break. Actually, this one might be ready to uh, retire. I've had this one for a while and it's starting to get dried up. All right, so I'm gonna apply this to my top and bottom lashes. All right, so I just removed any lip balm that I had on. I went over my lips with my sponge, no additional product, just to kind of cancel out my lip line a little bit. And then I went over with my powder puff no additional product, just to set that down a bit. So while my mascara dries, I'm going to do the lip, and then I might go in and add more mascara, but I'm going to let this initial coat dry. So for the lip, um, I'm going to go in with one of these PDL Cosmetics lip lipsticks. If y'all have not tried PDL Cosmetics, you have to try this brand. It is incredible. Her lipsticks are the best matte lipsticks I have ever tried. It is the best matte lipstick formula you will try. They're so good. They're so pigmented. They wear all day. They're comfortable. They don't dry out the lips. They're just so beautiful. Her liquid lips are beautiful as well. Um, but I'm going to do one of her, I think these are called her high powered lipsticks or something like that. Um, but I have the shades Tropicana, which is more of an orangey red is kind of what I'm leaning towards and then I have oh yeah definitely okay and then this is the shade fearless which is not really like a true true red so yeah I'm gonna do Tropicana oh, this is what Tropicana looks like it's just this beautiful warm orangey red it's so oh my gosh do you see the pigment on that I mean the formula is amazing actually it's like very kind of pulls more coral too. Um, it has been so doom and gloom here in Texas and I am so ready for not just spring, I'm ready for summer. Like I want the heat, I want the warmth, I want the sun and it has been so cold and rainy. It even snowed the other day. I'm so over it. I do not like being cold so I'm just trying to warm up my life with makeup so I think this uh, should do the trick. And a trick that I learned from Katie Jane Hughes is if you actually turn the lipstick over so that the pointy side is facing your lip, it's a lot easier to uh, be more precise. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Okay, so I actually don't have any red lip liners, so I'm going to use my Victoria Beckham Lip Definer in 05. It's like a kind of like a con lip contour on me that's why I like this shade so much but it's very like kind of more brown so I'm going to use that to 
help shape the lips and then I uh, I think I want to do a blurred lip so we'll line them just kind of give them a little more definition and then I'm gonna go in and kind of soften the edge all right so now I'm gonna go in with the real techniques lip blur brush you do not have to use this brush you can literally use any eyeshadow brush I mean just any kind of like pencil brush or if you want it to be really blurred you can go in with a fluffier brush just whatever you're comfortable with it does not have to be an actual lip brush you can use whatever you want so I'm gonna use this just cuz I have it and I'm just gonna go around the edge and just soften almost like you're blending eyeshadow just soften the edge of my lip this is another thing that I learned from Katie Jane Hughes and it just it gives the lips such a beautiful effect I don't know it makes them look more full but it's also very soft it's not too harsh all right actually for a little bit more dimension on the lips I'm gonna take the shade believe which is like more of a brownie red really really pretty and I'm gonna use that kind of on the outer corners of my lips just for a little bit more dimension I don't know I just kind of want to try it and then I'm gonna go back in with that brush and just blend them together pretty just added a little bit of something okay so I'm gonna go back in with my lash curler kind of recurl my lashes and add another coat of mascara and then of course if you wanted to do falsies that would be stunning all right so for the blush this is the fun part so I'm gonna go back in with Tropicana which is that original warm orangey red and I think I'm just gonna do this on the back of my hand if you have a palette you can do that as well if you don't want to get it on your hands um, but the way that I like to do this now you can do this two ways you can do it with your foundation or you can do it with your concealer I think I'm gonna do my foundation this concealer is pretty full coverage. I mean, so is the foundation, but I feel like this is a little bit more thin and spreadable. I think it's just gonna work better with the lipstick. So just kind of play around with textures, see what works best for you. You may wanna use your concealer or you may even wanna go in with like a primer or a moisturizer or something like that. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna use just a little bit of my foundation. This is going to thin out the texture of this lipstick and it's also gonna mute the color so that it's not so so bright so I'm just gonna do a tiny little dot of foundation on the back of my hand I'm going to warm up the lipstick and just apply that to the back of my hand start with about that much so that's what I've got going on and then I'm just gonna mix the two with my finger and I just kind of mix and add lipstick add foundation until I get the shade that I want I might even add a little bit of that other shade which is believe just for a little bit more depth all right so that's kind of the shade that I'm getting it's a really pretty kind of coral pink because that Tropicana shade is definitely pulls a little bit coral my favorite way to do this is either with a brush or a sponge I feel like I just have more control so I'm actually going to take a brush, a clean brush, I'm going to pick up a little bit of that blush and then I'm going to prime it and kind of remove any excess product. We can always add more color, it's a lot more difficult to take away. So take that brush and then just start stamping this on the cheek and using this method you literally get the perfect blush shade to go with your lipstick and like I said if you want it to be more intense more rich more red you can add more lipstick if you want it to be more sheer and more muted more pinky add more foundation or concealer but if you're ever just unsure of what blush to use with your lipstick this is the best 
way to kind of find the right, the perfect shade. And then all you have to do, if you're going to be going out for the evening or out for the day, you can take your lipstick with you and just touch up. Like, I could even just, little dot there, little dot there. Where's my brush? Oh, here it is. And then just blend that in. I mean, how gorgeous is that? So pretty, and it really just brings out that lip color, really makes it shine, makes it stand out without competing with it. All right, so there you have it. This is the final look. Fresh, beautiful, healthy looking, glowy skin. Again, you don't have to do glowy skin for this look. You can definitely do a matte version. That is totally fine. I think just the overall kind of concept behind the skin is just to keep it nice and light and fresh. And then whatever finish you want on the skin, that is totally up to you. But I just love the way that this looks with just a bold lip barely anything on the eyes, a ton of lashes, and then that gorgeous blush to complement your red lip. It's the perfect combination of cheek color and lip color. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me as always. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. You are